Chapter 49 This message was given concerning the Ammonites. This is what the Lord says. What are you doing? Are there no descendants of Israel to inherit the land of God? Why are you who worship Molech living in its towns? I will punish you for this, says the Lord, by destroying your city of Reba. It will become a desolate heap, and the neighboring towns will be burned. Then Israel will come and take back the land you took from her, says the Lord. Cry out, O Heshbon, for the town of Ai is destroyed. Weep, O people of Reba, put on your clothes of mourning. Weep and wail, hiding in the hedges, for your god Molech will be exiled along with his princes and priests. You are proud of your fertile valleys, but they will soon be ruined. You rebellious daughter, you trusted in your wealth and thought no one could ever harm you. But look, I will bring terror upon you, says the Lord, the Lord Almighty. Your neighbors will chase you from your land, and no one will help your exiles as they flee. But afterward I will restore the fortunes of the Ammonites, says the Lord. This message was given concerning Edom. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Where are all the wise men of Timon? Is there no one left to give wise counsel? Turn and flee, hide in deep caves, you people of Didon. For when I bring disaster on Edom, I will punish you too. Those who harvest grapes always leave a few for the poor. If thieves came at night, even they would not take everything. But I will strip bare the land of Edom, and there will be no place left to hide. Its children, its brothers, and its neighbors all will be destroyed, and Edom itself will be no more. But I will preserve the orphans who remain among you. Your widows, too, will be able to depend on me for help. And this is what the Lord says. If the innocent must suffer, how much more must you? You will not go unpunished. You must drink this cup of judgment. For I have sworn by my own name, says the Lord, that Bozerah will become an object of horror and a heap of rubble. It will be mocked and cursed. All its towns and villages will be desolate forever. I have heard a message from the Lord that an ambassador was sent to the nations to say, Form a coalition against Edom and prepare for battle. This is what the Lord says. I will cut you down to size among the nations, Edom. You will be despised by all. You are proud that you inspire fear in others, and you are proud because you live in a rock fortress and hide high in the mountains. But don't fool yourselves. Though you live among the peaks with the eagles, I will bring you crashing down, says the Lord. Edom will be an object of horror. All who pass by will be appalled and will gasp at the destruction they see there. It will be like the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring towns, says the Lord. No one will live there any more. I will come like a lion from the thickets of the Jordan, leaping on the sheep in the pasture. I will chase Edom from its land, and I will appoint the leader of my choice. For who is like me, and who can challenge me? What ruler can oppose my will? Listen to the Lord's plans for Edom and the people of Timon. Even the little children will be dragged off, and their homes will be empty. The earth will shake with the noise of Edom's fall, and its cry of despair will be heard all the way to the Red Sea. The enemy will come as swiftly as an eagle, and he will spread his wings against Bozrah. Even the mightiest warriors will be as frightened as a woman about to give birth. This message was given concerning Damascus. This is what the Lord says. The towns of Hamath and Arpad are struck with fear, for they have heard the news of their destruction. Their hearts are troubled like a wild sea in a raging storm. Damascus has become feeble, and all her people turn to flee. Fear, anguish, and pain have gripped her as they do a woman giving birth. That famous city, a city of joy, will be forsaken. Her young men will fall in the streets and die. Her warriors will all be killed, says the Lord Almighty. And I will start a fire at the edge of Damascus that will burn up the palaces of ben -Hedad. This message was given concerning Kedar and the kingdoms of Hazor, which were attacked by King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. This is what the Lord says, Advance against Kedar, blot out the warriors from the east, their flocks and tents will be captured, and their household goods and camels will be taken away. Everywhere shouts of panic will be heard, we are terrorized at every turn. 
flee for your lives, says the Lord. Hide yourselves in deep caves, you people of Hazor, for King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon has plotted against you and is preparing to destroy you. Go up and attack those self-sufficient nomadic tribes, says the Lord. They live alone in the desert without walls or gates. Their camels and cattle will all be yours. I will scatter to the winds these people who live in distant places. I will bring calamity upon them from every direction, says the Lord. Hazor will be inhabited by jackals, and it will be desolate forever. No one will live there any more. This message concerning Elam came to the prophet Jeremiah from the Lord at the beginning of the reign of King Zedekiah of Judah. This is what the Lord Almighty says, I will destroy the archers of Elam, the best of their marksmen. I will bring enemies from all directions, and I will scatter the people of Elam to the four winds. They will be exiled to countries around the world. I myself will go with Elam's enemies to shatter it. My fierce anger will bring great disaster upon the people of Elam, says the Lord. Their enemies will chase them with a sword until I have destroyed them completely. I will set my throne in Elam, says the Lord, and I will destroy its king and princes. But in the latter days I will restore the fortunes of Elam, says the Lord.